everyone welcome back to my channel um I look right rough so just bear with me on this um and I'm doing this rough I'm not even gonna put like you know too much work into it um anyway because I'm just doing this off the top of my head um I just got back from Florida and my trip was amazing don't get me wrong I loved it um, I know my face probably doesn't show it, but going and, and now coming back and kind of being at the house by myself and everything and looking back at videos and, and things like that, um, ratchet is not the word I like to use for it, but I'm going to use it anyway. I don't really like myself when I get drunk I'm, at, I'm trying to plug my phone up too while, while I'm doing this video so anyway sorry about that let's see is it charging I think it is yeah it's charging so anyway um what I was saying is is um I think that I have been doing some kind of self searching myself today and kind of just trying to work on myself, put my clothes up and get my house clean and, you know, things like that. And I'm just thinking about it, how I've let go of things that I once loved and once was with to be someone else that I wasn't. And and by, by along the way, I've, I've lost myself a lot. And I want that person back, that love, loving person that, you know, wants to be with someone, wants to be loved by someone. You know, it's all fun and games when you're going out and having a good time and all that stuff, but that should come in time. And I think as, as young people my age, where I'm 24, you know, younger and a little bit older than me, we tend to not think about those things. And we do things that we shouldn't do. And we, you know, we think the world owes us something when we don't. And all of us need to take a good time and, I mean, a good look in the mirror sometimes. And just, just know that we're doing too much and we need to work on ourselves as human beings. As human beings, we shouldn't be acting like crazy people and, you know, going out all the time. And and I know this is coming from me, but, like, I feel like in the past few months, like, the last four months, I feel like that's all I do. And I'm tired of going out. I'm tired of doing this and doing that and things. I mean, this trip was amazing. That that wasn't the problem. Being drunk was the problem. Realizing I have an issue with some things. I'm not an alcoholic, but, you know, I feel like... It was this one particular video that I recorded on my Snapchat that I literally was talking shit about myself when I was drunk because that was truly who I was coming through, the way I feel about myself, the way that, you know, I look at myself and how I feel most of the time. So when I saw that, I was sober and It hurt me because I don't want to see that person. I don't want to see that vulnerable, like, person. And it just makes me want to be better and feel better about myself. And, and have people around me that want to be around me because I make them laugh or I, you know, make them feel good about themselves or... You know, things like that. 
I, I'm having a lot of issues with cussing and and things like that. And I'm I'm really trying. I really want to try to do better from that. I don't want to be that way. I want to better myself. I want to be a better person. I want to, you know, see new things. I want to be around new people. And they want to be around me because I'm more, more myself. So I guess today I'm having a reality check and I'm seeing that, you know, I just, I don't know, like I'm seeing that I'm not, I've been so unhappy with myself that I've made the people around me, especially the people that's always been there for me, regardless of who it is, my family, um, my ex boy I mean, I mean, anyone that, you know, has had time, they know who they are. I don't need to tell who, you know, and I'm just at the point right now, like, why do you even talk to me? Like, I've treated you like shit. Like, I've done things to each and every one of you. Like, I don't understand why these people are giving me second chances when I've done all of this. I've made people almost not even want to talk to me or be around me. I lost my job because I cussed when a client heard it. Then I ruined just about all my friendships because of it. Because I went off thinking I didn't do nothing wrong. And we know dang, we know darn well that I did. So this is me being in reality today, vulnerable, knowing that I've done wrong, wanting to do better. You know, I just I just don't know how to start, but I do know that if I start off with trying to stop cussing and stop trying to be, you know, going out, that is a step towards success on that. And I want to get back in school. I want to do all that type stuff. So, you know, it's just... I just, I need to focus on my lifespan and what I want out of this because, you know, I got some good people in my corner, like a couple good people that has helped me through a lot of stuff and, you know, and it's always been there for me and, you know, doesn't really kind of, kind of plan on going anywhere or hasn't yet. And I need to work on myself enough to keep that going because if I keep on, I'm going to lose everything that I worked for. And I'm going to lose everything that I ever had. And I've had a lot since I've been here in Wilmington. You know, I've met some really good people. Uh, one was Rodney Foley. That was the one that's helped me out the most. Um, he's always been there for me. Um, you know, um, and then other people helping me out financially, Bob Pulley, um, um, Patrick Green, you know, each and every one of them done what they could for me, you know, and, and that means a lot to me. And I don't know. I'm just not feeling myself recently. I've just, I'm unhappy with myself. And I'm really trying to find where I belong. And I just, I don't know. I need somebody to reach out to me and talk to me and that, that actually cares or at least wants to care about me enough to that I can they can help me through this I've never I've never really opened up like this to anyone and 
I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like I want to change. I want something new and do, different and exciting. I'm tired of the same old, same old bullshit all the time. And being here, I want something new and exciting, but I mean, I'm fine with, you know, I, I need to be more in love with myself. I need to find that in it doesn't matter if someone else loves me or anything like that. But it does make me feel good to know people that love me. Each and every time somebody tells me that they love me or care about me, it really makes me feel good as a person and that all that stuff. But I've just lost my way. You guys, I don't know what to do. And then I just feel like I'm rambling. But, you guys, um, excuse me, I'm tired. Like I said, I just got back last night about 2 o'clock from Orlando. And that place was nice. I loved it. It was it was really a lot of fun. Um, you know, thank you, for Alicia, if you watch this, um, you know, for inviting me. And, you know, thank you, Candy. And, uh all you guys for, um, you know, showing me a good time while I was there and, you know, making me feel like, you know, I was part of a friendship, you know, things like that. It made me really feel really good. So, you know, and, um, anyway, please like and subscribe to my page. Reach out to me if you feel like you could help me with my situation or give me some like um I don't know outlooks on everything but I'm gonna try to get some more videos up of Orlando because I didn't really put a lot of videos up um but now I'm gonna I'm gonna video um I mean I already have them like recorded I just have to like make some stuff and I have some pictures and stuff too that I you, you guys would probably like to see and um please guys if um if you can uh, reach out for me I'm trying to do a fundraiser for um I want some breast implants as soon as I can um so I am definitely trying to go like I feel like I have some kish in there um that I could start going ahead and have surgery done um i think i'm gonna set up and go to this um free consultation here in wilmington and see how these doctors are here about it and things like that um and find out how much it's gonna be um but yeah uh reach out to me you guys i'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you and i'll talk to you later bye hey maddie <laughs> you little shit. Why'd you run? Like and subscribe our page. Bye. <laughs> you little kitty. She missed me while I was in Orlando. Bye.